Hello. I'm going to be showing you guys Microsoft Word. But we're going to start with uh, changing the font type, the size, and the color. As you see, I've typed welcome to my video. I could even type other things, as you guys know. Okay. And when you want to change it, now I've set it up for an essay format, Times New Roman, 12 uh, point font. But you could change that. You could do to anything when you click this little box. You could choose anything you want. Let's say we could choose this. You could even change the type when you want. You could either type it in. Let's say I want to do 16. You just type 16 and you click the enter. It changes it for you. Or you click this little box and you could choose. And without clicking, it gives you preview. Okay. And to do this, you must highlight the text that you want. Or if before you set it up, you don't have to highlight it. You could just type, type whatever you want. Sorry. Um, and then you could even change the color when you highlight it. Over here, it says font color. You can change to anything you want. And I, as I said before, without clicking it, it gives me a preview. I want to do it red. See? And what else you could do is... Um, see? Uh, you could make it bold, which makes the text a little more darker. Easier to read, but I don't recommend bold, italicize, or underline when you're doing an essay or if you want you can italicize this leave these alone see <clears throat> or you could underline it and if you don't like the default underline you could just <clears throat> you can change the way you want it let's say hello see it changed and I didn't have to highlight it I'm also going to show you um, the insert when you want uh, on these tabs there's home insert page layout reference etc you click on insert there's multiple but today I'm going to show you table picture clip art shape table it's really easy it's visual how much you want let's say you want to make a crossword puzzle you could go all the way you could just type in the words, you know. See? The highlighting all of the words come out. If you don't want this, you could just clearly delete it or you could even change the design of it or even change how big you want the lines and you know, it goes more complicated. And then after you could choose picture you could choose any picture. I have cars, you know. We could choose this, see? You could even edit it. It somehow underlines it, but it's okay, see? You could even change it. You can move it wherever you want. Anyhow, now you could even go to clip art. You could make sure if you want any of them, you must have it on all all collections and all media files or all of them won't show you could choose anything we could say cars click go and it gives you a lot of options or a little options or if you want all of them you simply just don't type anything and click go and it gives you thousands you could just have borders and everything see you could even copy it and paste it paste make a duplicate of it and there's shapes there's boxes it's really simple to put the shapes in all you do is click shapes use whichever you want let's say the happy face you'll get a cross on my screen you simply just click and drag as much as you want you could also edit it whenever you want 
make it into a frown turn it upside down get it change the color you you could be creative with it you know you could even make shadow effects coming out of it you know well that's all for today I hope you guys watch my other videos and thank you